This is sort of what it looks like. <laughs> this is our little device. Uh, it does, that, that thing at the bottom is just to hold the threads in place because they're just like little fine wire, wires. Um, I mean, fr frankly, to, to sort of simplify this, uh, what, what we're, <laughs> I mean, it's more complicated than this, but it's, in a lot of ways, it's kind of like a Fitbit in your skull with tiny wires. <laughs> so, um, and it's, uh, yeah, so our, our current prototype, version 0 0.9, has about a thousand channels, uh, so that's you know, about a hundred times better than the the next best um, uh, consumer device that's available. And it's a 23 millimeters by eight millimeters. It actually uh, fits quite nicely in your skull because your, your skull is about 10 millimeters thick, so uh, it fits. It's, it goes flush with your skull. It's invisible, and all you can see afterwards is this tiny scar. And if it's under your hair, you can't see it at all. In fact, I could have a Neuralink right now, and you wouldn't know. Maybe I do. So, uh, and it, it's also got all, all the things that you would expect to see, the sensors you'd expect to see in a smartwatch uh, or a phone, like uh, inertial measurement, temperature, pressure. Uh, so there's actually a lot of functions that this device could do uh, r related to monitoring your health and warning you about a possible heart attack or stroke or other uh, damage, as well as uh, sort of convenience features like playing music. Um, you do a lot. Um, it's sort of like if your phone went at your brain or something. Um, yeah, maybe that's not a great analogy. Um, anyway, so it's also inductively charged. So um, it's charged in the same way that you, char you charge a smartwatch or a phone. Um, and so you can use it all day, uh, charge it at night, and have full functionality. So you would really, um, you know, it, would be, it would be completely seamless. Uh, and uh, yeah, no wires.